everyone here we are in car parking sort of now this video is not about going further into the game we'll do that later what we're talking about is the review of this game from my perspective so i'm gonna give you all my take on this game what i like about it what i don't like about it and everything else basically let's start off with some of the things that i like I like the open world of this game. There's a lot of things this game is doing right in terms of open world. Now, as you can see, the cloud is moving. That's one. Motion blur is amazing, and the controls are okay, but not the best. Now let's go into stuff like garage. Now let's talk about new cars. There is a lot of options for new cars which is a plus there is a mixture of old cars and there is also a mixture of new cars as well which makes this game pretty interesting and pretty unique and there is even trucks in this game which is really amazing now they make it so you can get all cars for 99 dollars and stuff like that so Money is not too hard to get in this game, which is a plus. If money was very difficult in this game, it would be very hard to like grow in this game, but it is very easy to get money in this game, which is good. For car upgrades, you can upgrade the horn, you can upgrade the interior, the tuning, the gearbox, the suspension. There is a lot of upgrades, and for this, you can even change the paint on the car with the smoke there is a lot of things going for it you have a lot of options for body kits and, and even roof scopes which is something that i don't really see in a lot of games which is ridiculous so how should i say it? this exceed my expectation by a long shot in terms of what I was expecting from this game. The level of customization in this game is absolutely amazing. The amount of game modes that are there is a plus and the fact that you can walk out of a car and go through like say for example I drove up to a I drove up to a gas station and I came out of my car, went inside the gas station. I drove up to a no, it's not a gas station. It's a I drove up to a like a diner or something like that, and I was able to walk inside of it and look at the inside that was like made completely already. So this game is really big, which. I like it is well detailed which I like there are a few things that I don't like and in order for that we, and I like the chat the, that we have a lot of options in terms of game mode and money is not the hardest to get now I need to do a few things I need to show you something now if I go into clutch and I go to first gear and let's drive yeah, we have to turn on the engine. Just drive outside because like, we don't want it. And let's put this back in neutral. Now, this gearbox right here, this gearbox right here, it's very difficult. It's not the best and it's not the worst, but it's very difficult. Like, if I'm going down the road, and I end up missing a gear, which is possible, it would be very difficult to do. This car does stall, so I'll have to like... Oh yeah, put it in first gear first. So this car does stall, if you do things wrong. It's not... I don't know if I like it or hate it, this fact but it's this is not forgiven in any way whatsoever.
whatsoever. This game will not forgive you at all if you mess something up. Apart from like, if you like say, do this. See what I mean? Don't try to set them. See? Now this is a, like an extreme example, but like, it's because I'm recording. So, it will not register all my presses. So, like changing gears in this situation is very difficult. I want to kind of do something, but. Trust me, this is not a picture. <coughs> I just want to go like at max speed and then do something to that thing. So like we do this, this car is like broken and dented so hard. But if we go into like back into main menu, the car is completely fixed. Like everything is alright. If it like maintain its damage, like when you go back, so you like have to spend money in order to fix it, that would be really good. But like I'm guessing, like they, they must have thought like it would be bad if like. Say for example, somebody had the game and then decided to like grieve somebody. Like, say for example, you're driving down the road in online, and somebody that doesn't know how to drive just like rams you in the side and like put the amount of damage on your car to about that ten thousand. Just messed up your expensive Lamborghini. Like, it's gonna be like really disheartening for the player to really go and purchase those stuff back it, like it you can understand that it's gonna be like really hard for the person to go and buy this stuff back knowing that the reason why he messed up his car was not his fault so i can understand why they don't set it like that but it is kind of disappointing that it didn't but there's a lot of cool features that this game has. It has indicators, which is good. It has the four way blinkers, which is good. You can go to races and all that kind of stuff. And you can use a mech and you can even come out of your car, which is still an amazing feature to this day. And you can even lock your cars and you can steal cars is something that I never and you can walk away from your car and wait a minute I need to test something like in game in life but is there a way to go into this let's go into the car let's put it in reverse let's put it in reverse <clears throat> also there's another thing customization of the controls maybe I don't find it maybe I have not find it yet but I am really worried <coughs> as to why I can't customize it I can't find the air to customize it yet and <coughs> This is why I say customization is very, very important. Now we're going over here for a very specific reason. I'll show you why. <coughs> when I was in the game, it told me something. So if I like come out of the car and I close the door, and I try to open it and say unlock any car for nine ninety nine. Now I wanna see if like it No. 
So this guy is just not real. So I'm guessing it has to work with like cars that are online. You can like steal them from other people for a low price of $9.99. But I cannot have nothing but praises for this game. As this game produces a lot. Maybe I do not know where to go to change up my controls as to what I want where and what I want there. Uh, hopefully it may come in the future but for now I guess I'll live with it. One thing I don't like is like this. It's just like it or hate it because like if you miss your gear you're screwed and I think that's how it works in real life so I can't fault the game for that but it's not easy when you're driving in analog but it could be fixed if I like go into settings and like decrease the steering sensitivity a little bit that way I can shift properly without like it it wobbling left and right because like I use analog so it will wobble left and right when I try to go to shift so other than that all I can say is I really love this game I really love this game like I I won't lie to you I've known about this game for a very long time before it was mentioned to me but I just didn't really take it up yet because like I did not know of all the features that this game inclined and it has been like a uh, normal religion on my YouTube channel like if it's not real serious it's not gonna do that good because like we are like street racing enthusiastics and car racing in general and I have strayed away from the path of street racing and car racing in particular many times and my YouTube audience has told me why I shouldn't and I won't I won't again so it's alright it's cars from now on to the end of time so no need to worry about that but overall I really enjoy this game and I'm really in there are goals that I'm going for in this car racing game in particular I am going to menu because there's something I need to show I, there are cars I need to buy in this game and as I say I'm playing through it so likely let me say there's the cars I need to buy in this game and I'm playing through it so likely I am going to keep it because like I need the Supra of course I definitely need a Supra and the other car that I need I need the RX-7 because I don't need, do need to see if there's a record well side body kit in this which I had it out and the headlight there's a lot of the headlights working it's like and there's a lot of features in this game that really like inspire me to like keep it there's a lot of features in this game that really inspired me to keep it. A lot of niche things that they do right. The fact that you can pick up passengers and like get money by carrying them to places. There's, there's a lot of things that this game does, does, does really good. So the odds of me keeping it is 100%. I am definitely keeping this game. I definitely love this game just as much as I love street racing. But I'm guessing, like, overall, all these games, street racing, car parking, and car X, have very particular features about them that makes you want to keep them. And I have this, I definitely need this car. I have the space, so might as well let us keep it. And if you guys enjoy the videos, they will just keep coming and coming which I do worry about so when it comes down to racing we are like 
15 of 82 we have a lot to do but we will finish com we will compete in time like i have no intention of hacking this game right now and there's a specific reason for that it's because money is too easy to get in this game um not too too easy but it's pretty easy it's not like street racing where one race will give you the max one thousand five hundred dollars and <coughs> when you think about the calculations of street racing and it's about 30 grand to buy a car and then you're gonna need another 30 grand to upgrade the car fully and then about another 30 to 50 grand to put a specific design on the car that's about almost a hundred to about 150 grand no about a hundred grand on the car over a hundred grand on the car actually on one car alone and for one race it's just a thousand dollars you can understand why you don't need to like run some type of act and the game and stuff like that to get money alone like that's the only thing that I had for for the money which I definitely needed like if I wasn't a youtuber if I was, didn't create content especially like created design for the cars I would not need the money because like it's alright but having the money brings ease to buying cars and give me ease to know that yeah I have all the money in the world so I just need to worry about making designs and stuff like that which I will be going back to in the future anyways I do enjoy this car game if I were to rate it I'll give it a 10 out of 10 because this game definitely has something that is pretty unique and definitely stands out as one of the top games on mobile to get if you are a racer so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy and i will see you guys next time with particularly the series of